In this video, we're going to be looking at finding the area enclosed by r equals 2 plus 2 cosine theta. In the previous section, we looked at what that looked like. Uh, we sketched it. This is a cardioid. So what we're looking at, something that looks like this. OK. So we're going to try and find the area inside. So the area will be equal to 1 half times by the integral between, now we could go between minus pi and pi if you like, probably easy just to work with 0 to 2 pi of r squared, so 2 plus 2 cosine theta all squared d theta. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is to expand this out. So we've got 1 half times the integral between 0 and 2 pi of 4 plus 8 cosine theta plus 4 cosine squared theta d theta. Okay, so what I can do is I can... Um, now, I could factor the 4 out first, but I think the first thing that I want to do is replace that cosine squared. So I'm going to have to use the double angle formula for that. So cosine 2 theta was 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So rearranging that, I can write 2 cosine squared theta as being equal to cosine 2 theta plus 1. So here I've got two lots of that. So multiply through by 2 if you like. Like so. So we have 1 half times the integral between 0 and 2 pi of 4 plus 8 cosine theta plus 2 cosine 2 theta plus 2 d theta. Okay, so let's simplify this. Um, so what we can do is we can factor out the 2, and that's going to knock out the half. So we have the integral between 0 and 2 pi of, we've got the cosine 2 theta. We're going to have 4 cosine theta. And I've got the 4 plus 2 is 6. I'll factor out the 2, so I've got now plus 3. So let's integrate this. So we would have 1 half sine 2 theta plus 4 sine theta plus 3 theta evaluated between 0 and 2 pi. OK, so I'm going to substitute in the 2 pi first. Now sine of 4 pi is 0, sine of 2 pi is 0, 2 pi into 3 theta is 6 pi. Then uh, substituting the 0, we get 0, 0, 0. And so 6 pi is the area I want. 